Get ready for breach. Get ready for breach. It's, it's two more. It's two more in there through. Hello, my name is Stevie, and yes, this is exactly how my last video started and ended. So let me give you a quick recap on part one of this two-part mini-series for those of you that missed out on it or just forgot what happened. Pretty much a few weeks ago, Taco Wicked and I had a really good start on the Monday server, but a day after we put a base down, Ronnie and some of his pals put a base right beside ours, so we raided it to get them out of the area, and then that night they offline raided us. So we waited for the Thursday wipe server, where me, Snuffy, and Trippin again got a really good start, and lo and behold, two hours later, Ronnie, this time with the rest of AIM clan, had built a main base in our front yard. And obviously we couldn't raid it because it was such a big base, but we trolled them by placing TCs outside their high external walls to give them a hard time, and that only led them to 13v3 raiding us. Now, was I that mad? No, not at all. I mean, the measures that they were willing to go to to get back at us for all the loot we were taking from them, the humiliation that we were dishing them, was borderline comical, so with no intentions of being raided, again, we waited for the Monday Wipe server and had no plans of building the Irani or fighting him at all, but things don't always go according to plan. Okay, real quick before we get started, I'm going to apologize in advance for my mic audio quality on the Shadowplay recording. For some reason, my settings had it really low. Uh, I figured it out halfway through, but it is bad for the first part. My apologies. But anyways, the Monday wipe rolled around and Trippin' still asleep didn't get on for a while, so Snuffy and I duoed it out. I'm in the fight right now. Just killed three guys. Nice, nice. There is last one. On the killed one guy. He was full of stone over there. Killed, killed Hazzy. Killed Hazzy. He's loaded. Yeah, I know. He probably got all my shit. Killed like three gates over there, he was the last one. Headshot the other, he's dead. Get the f out of here. Legend! Are they not in the outpost by any chance? No. I'm trying to run over Hold there. Up, comms. You do not mess with me. Me best player, EU. Oh, uh, no. I know I'm not getting AK. I'm getting AK. <laughs> what? I I'm getting AK. From where? Comms? <laughs> not comms, I mean, like, what crit? I'm dead. Wait, what? I'm dead. They had a bolt in AK already. So here's the map, and with the spawns all at the bottom and launch site, our target build destination, all the way at the top, we would have to run through the entire middle of the map by a bunch of people to get there. So instead of farming along the way, we just snuck around the right side and got to our target build destination and farmed up for a base there. Is this you? I'm jumping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick, 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 there's a guy behind me. Invite me to team. Make an house. I, I invite you. Invite me then. He's just here. Look, he's got scuba gear. Hit him. Hit nice. him again. I'm putting this thing on because I'm getting rads right now. Well, he's lo- Oh my god. Yeet. Alright. Take this. Take this. Mr. Master Builder. 
That is me. That is me. Being able to main in the water over here. Well, this is going to be main. Well, look how much spot do we have, man. So with our base down, we decided to go to launch site to get some scrap and components to make a level 1 workbench and maybe some guns. Let's check the tower over there, maybe there's boxes over here. Yeah. But everything was looted, so that meant someone else was with us. Someone's getting shot by Bradley. Yeah, I think they're near uh, Recycler. Hard. Oh yeah, I see. They're coming. Towards Where? Recycler. Oh, he died, he died! Where? In the middle? Uh, in the middle. Yeah. I'm gonna cover you, okay? He's probably in that building. Here he is. No, he's over there. Yeah. I'm gonna loot. Oh, he's loaded, man. Just loot. He's dead! We should back off. We got husbands. I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit. Oh. Get inside, get inside. I'm yeah. gonna get to the roof. Hit, hit him. Oh! I'm dead. I headshot him. He's dead, he's dead. There's one more. I'm hit, dude. You're dead? Yep. So we had gotten pinched and killed, but we went back, we hit a bunch of components, we did some recycling, we found a custom SMG in a green box. I got custom SMG, bro. And we found a completely loaded body that was killed by Bradley. Oh, he's dead, he's dead. He's- <gasps> He had a lot! How much? Uh, so much, so much, so much. We took the guns and extra gear back to base to bank, and then we took all the components back to launch site and just kept recycling until we had enough for a level 2 workbench. And then back to launch site we went to cook up some of the crude oil we'd gotten. There's someone in the middle of the rockets. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's running, running back. back he's running back again. So when this guy had come all the way out to the metal shacks to put a fuse in the circuit and to turn the power on, which unlocks a room and launch site with a bunch of loot, but the only way to leave that room is through the bottom of the pit to the right. So we waited for him. He's already he's, doing he's, the wrong. No, 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 he's doing it right. He's jumping across. I think he missed. Bloody. He missed. He fell all the way down. He fell all the way down. He's going up that way. I hit him. Yeah, he's here. He's here. You ready? Is he I'm close? I'm going with TV. Go. One, two, now. Oh! I got him. Did you got him? Yeah. Are you full dead? Uh, yeah, I'm full dead. He's loaded. Alright, you gotta get back here fast. It's me coming in. Okay. Here, on his body there's a hazmat. Over where I am. Grab that. Loot all of his components. Yes. There's two. Come up, come up, come up. I see him. He's looking at me. You have a gun. I'm hit. Yeah, let's just go. He's following us. He's following us. Like, come on. I see he's. Just keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. I'm dead. I made it in. Did you made it? Okay. So at least we had made it back to base with most of the good loot, and we went back to launch site to take a fight with the group that we saw there. I see him, on the far side. Where? By, by the lights, that big light post. He did the parkour, I think. No, I'm getting shot. Killed one, full killed one!
but we got out positioned by them. So right when we spawned back in, we made guns as fast as possible and tried to get back before they ran off with all the loot. Top ledge is dead. Nice. So right after we had died, a fight broke out, but Bradley, the tank that patrols launch site, had held everyone down and left only one guy, which Snuffy killed when we came back, so all the loot was ours to take. Oh yeah. So now we had a bunch of extra guns, gear sets, and components, so we went out to get the only thing we really didn't have that much of, sulfur and metal ore. We need to make large guns for this man. So now we had loads of stone and we decided to make a furnace base out of it so that we could smelt metal and sulfur faster which would speed up the production of making guns, gear, and upgrading our base. So up until this point, things were going smooth. We had a bunch of gear, we had a bunch of farm, but the next morning when out on another farm run, this happened. Is this you on me? No. There's someone on me. Two, two, two. You sure? Yeah. Hold on. Five, three times. Headshot him, he's dead. Nice, good job. <laughs> Jackhammer. Oof. You know who is, who is he? Who? It's a f it's a f Ronnie. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> the Thompson guy was r Rodney. <laughs> I'm getting bowed at. I love. So at the time I just laughed, but what had just happened had big implications. One of the two guys I had just killed was Ronnie. WKT3 was what his name was. This wipe and he was the guy on top. He had a pal with him as well, WKT9. That was the guy I killed on the bottom. And now everything was starting to make sense. Within the past 30 minutes we had seen these two guys, WKT9 and WKT3, around launch sites. So it would make sense that they were new to the area. And that base you see in the distance? That wasn't there an hour earlier, so connect all the dots and it looked like we had a new neighbor, Ronnie, for the third wipe in a row, basing just a block away from ours, and now it was just trying to figure out how many people he had on his team. So we banked all the farm we had and went back over that area to do some investigating. Left side, left side. You kill him? I'm dead, sir. I'm dead, sir. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's that's running at them. <laughs> so now we knew there were three of them: WKT9, WKT3, and Tommy. So we just decided to stay away from that area and go towards the launch site. Yeah. She's on top of the mountain, checking us right now. 
over there. Let's just go launch it. Let's let's just see if they follow us. They won't they won't take a fight. On our terms. Should we should we stay on top of the mountain? There's three four guys in front of us. Yeah, hide, hide, see. hide, hide, hide. We can't even take this fight. They saw me. Killed one. I killed one. Kill the other one. Coming. Killed him. He's dead. Is that one all? One on the right more. Where, where, where? I don't know, he was on the right somewhere. Yeah, they're by our, by our base, man. Okay. Maybe they're yeah. totally gonna us. I'm gonna take right flank, man. They're on the rocks, straight ahead. I'm pushing through the woods. Alright, if you have shots, take them. That's close to me. Hit him twice. Did you hit him? Killed them both. Killed those two. Last guy's Tommy guy in red side. What is he? He's, he fell off this side after I hit him twice. This guy will not take a fight. Where are you going? Oh, uh, Ronnie and Tem coming. Ronnie and Tem coming. Or back up, back up. Behind our furnace. Behind our furnace. Yeah, I see him. I see him. I see him. Hit him. Hit him again. Hit him, uh, once. Oh! He triple headshot at me, man! Are you dead? Yeah! I'm triple headshot! What? Okay, what just happened that happened so quick? Let me explain it to you. This is Snuffy's POV. When head glitching and strafing side to side on a rock, he was triple headshot oh, and obviously instantly killed. Now that right there is an insane shot. If we look at his combat log, we can see that this was done at 60 meters. Downright legendary spray control, but to then turn the corner and three seconds later do the exact same thing to me. From over 90 meters with an MP5, I mean... That's sketchy. So of course I immediately messaged Ronnie. After sending my POV, Snuffy's POV, and both of our combat logs like you just saw, Ronnie still seemed certain that there was nothing fishy about this guy and he was just really good. So I asked Ronnie to have the guy, WKT9, record the past few minutes of his gameplay with Shadowplay and send it to me, but Ronnie said he didn't have it enabled. There was nothing that could really corroborate his story, but I don't know, I don't want to get too much into it. At the end of the day, it was just a couple Python sets, not that big of a deal. And it was getting late and this seemed like a pretty good time to get off. But if I had learned anything from Ronnie over the past couple of wipes, it was that he was probably gonna offline raid us, our loot wasn't safe where it was. So the next morning, Snuffy and I went out and looked for a spot to lay down a little 2x2. Two two. Right here? Yeah. Just a couple blocks away, this base was nicely concealed in deep tree cover, perfect to keep our loot safe overnight. So under the cover of late afternoon darkness, Snuffy and I ran all of our loot over to the little base, leaving our main one empty, or rather, almost empty. Being almost certain we were going to get offline raided, I left Ronnie a note saying, Ronnie the offliner, it's got a nice ring to it, nice try. But did we even get offline raided? They put us up, Ronnie the offliner. No way. Uh, Ronnie yeah. the offliner. It's got a nice ring to it. Nice try. Well, now we go search for bases, boys. So sure enough, we had been offline raided, but 
our little 2x2 was fine. So Trippin, the guy that Snuffy and I had played with the previous wipe, got on to help Snuffy out, and them being EU got on before me in the morning. I woke up with messages that we had been offline raided, but our small base with all the loot in it was fine, and in the meantime, Snuffy and Trippin had turned all the sulfur that Snuffy and I had mined the previous day into explosives and got some guns, and they wanted to raid Ronnie back, and I felt the same way. Let's go. Alright, uh, let's go. Right here. No. Throw it back up. Oh my god, they have AKs. Seven. It's dead, it's dead. Yep. Oh yeah, we've got ammo. They've left down the door open. We have to patch it up first. Ooh. Remove the bags. Four rocket launchers, stacking half explosive ammo. Holy We need, we need. Drive the bags. Uh, does anyone get any wood? Oh yeah, that was in here. Making a TC. Yeah, pass all. Oh yeah, I I'm gonna patch it off. Loads of metal on the furnaces. Good little farmers. <laughs> For real. <laughs> so many AKs, dude. Good little farmers. I like Jeez. it. And although I had to go because my first period class started in a half an hour, of course I had to leave them some notes. Ah, offlining the offliners. Sweet revenge. Overnight, they had offline raided us, and we gave them a dose of their own medicine. Except from us, they got nothing, and from them, we got loads. A couple of M2s, two rows of AKs, a row and a half of sulfur, a stack and a half of explosive ammo, loads of components. They were stacked. But best of all, we got them out of our area, and hopefully off the server. But... They had a little bit more perseverance than that. Anyways, the victory was ours, at least in the short run. Off we ran with our riches to have some fun and raid some bases that we had just seen around over the past couple of days. One set, one set, wait, wait. What's it look like? Door there. Yeah, we'll just keep going down however we were. All right, this is TC right here. I'm shooting. Watch out. Okay, close the ammo doors. Oh, oh crap. What the hell? Oh, he left it open. He left it open. Rocket both doors. Rocket. Now this one. Oh my god, so much sulfur. Where? Oh my god. Oh, there's profit. <laughs> oh. Oof. AK, AK, AK is outside. Behind the base. Okay, okay, okay. From. I made it inside, I'm on HP. Kill the right key. I can't peek, I, I'm, I'm zero HP, just hide. Kill the right key. Nice, nice, nice. There's one over my way. He's, he's gonna be near the turret. Hold on. I'm metting. Two more, two more, two more. Hit him twice. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Good job. Full dead, full dead. There should be one more. Oh my god. This guy had an inventory of meds, literally. So, let it go. Sort of, yeah. 
Oh my god, he's fucking lot. I see him, I see him. I see, yeah. Hick, smile. Drop me a set, I'm behind you. They're right here, right here, over this ridge to the left. One dead. Another dead. Another dead. So we had secured all the raid and made some pretty good profit. We ran it all back to our main base, which we had just recently built using all the metal that we had farmed the first day. Then one of Snuffy's friends got on, we added him to the group, and went out for another raid. Hello, hello. You ready to shoot? All right, come on. Both dead me. upstairs. Come in. Oh, I got hit marker. Easy damage. Oh, dude, they're missing so many. I'm shooting. Watch out. Move, move, move. I'm gonna explode, ma. Give me your rockets. Give me your rockets. Go explode. I'm gonna explode, ma. Go. Just a corner now. Another Gotta one. Be. Watch out. Yeah. TC. Clearing TC. No loot. They have it all on them. For this raid, two of the guys inside were online, so we thought that they took all the loot out of their core and brought it to their roof. Uh, no, that's all the ladders they had. I got one. I got one. Okay. See for it. Ah, I'm back in. How'd they get all the loot out of there? I don't know. I killed them on the top of the roof. So that's where it probably oh. is. Oh, oh we, we can build up there. Why are we crying, man? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Another door. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Move it. Move, move, move. All right. Oh yeah. Check him. Comes. Good. He's re he respawned. Wait. Nothing good up here. No, nothing really. No sulfur. Comps. Actually, comps, comps, everything. Nothing else really. We didn't. Yeah, but he just oh, spawned. Oh yeah, uh, let the door open. They're dead up here. Him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, yep, yep. There we go, boys. Well oh, done. so much GP, man. What the f? <laughs> 6k? So, again, some more profit, another fun raid. We ran all the loot back, and on the way back, I heard some shots where the first raid was, so I went over to check it out solo. There are loads of them. Three. Headshot one, he's full dead. Why not? Headshot one, he's full dead. Headshot one, he's full dead. Oh, uh, there's one left. Another one dead. Now, obviously, they didn't have that much loot, but when I was coming back from that run, I got a tip from Wickty that he had a friend that lived out in the desert, and when nearby, he was killed by Ronnie and his pals that were probably trying to rebuild after we had raided them. And their goal was probably to eventually raid us back, and I didn't want that to happen, so Wickty brought us over there and we raided them again. The two story base? No, it shouldn't. I mean, unless if they yeah, upgrade. Yeah, yeah. Coming over right now. Okay, I'm coming like, Give me like two minutes. Is the compound one then? Oh, oh, that one there. Yeah, yeah, I, I see it. One, thing. Right here. Yeah, you alright. Yeah, 100% right. sure. Yeah, Stooby Doo came out of it. He's pl they're playing with him. This, this one, this one right we here. Should, we, we, we should rock it already, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Suzy places that foundation rocket. Alright, cool. Let's go. Okay. I got an altered one. I'll altered. You got two rows of sulfur? Yeah. That's my friend. <laughs> Regular. Yeah, it's good now. Level three. Oh, look at this box. Where? Look at these two boxes. Row and a half of sulfur here. Oh. So at this point, they must have been distraught desperate raided twice in one day so much loot taken from them but how desperate were they well a few hours later i got a ping from discord and when i swiped over to see what it was it said this is anyone on stevius us mondays that has a lot of boom i have some people i need gone and i don't feel like farming 
he at everyone in his discord to send out this message and furthermore he said you get to raid stevie as an incentive to get people on to help him farm not too long after i checked out his discord and this is what was happening dude that is hilarious hold on i'm gonna pull it over to my main screen because this is gonna be in a video <laughs> He had 10 people helping him farm just to raid me. But I was fine with that. I waited for the raid. A little while later, Nanwan messaged Wikti saying about to raid Stevie. But the raid never came. I waited hours. They kept running by our base hearing that Snuffy and I were still on and they didn't want to online. So they never raided and it was time for me to get off. So Snuffy and I logged. But not before moving all of our good loot to the little 2x2 two two in the woods. Boxes of sulfur, rows of guns high qual metal frags, explosives. We wanted them to waste rockets to raid our main base because they would get nothing out of it. And when we woke up the next morning, sure enough, it had been raided. But the 2x2, two two, it hadn't. But I didn't want to keep playing this wipe. We had had our revenge, we had had loads of fun, and it was time to call it quits. Plus, I needed to start editing part one of this miniseries. So I took all the materials out of the TC of the loaded 2x2, two two, hoping that a fresh spawn would run by and finding our riches it would make his day now before i end my video listen carefully take my story with a grain of salt as you should for all anecdotes told from one point of view perhaps the true reasons for why ronnie and his group did some of the things they did were not apparent from my perspective perhaps while all of my actions seemed like they were what was right they might not have been for example was it right for me to think that wkt9 was possibly cheating I mean, maybe, but he could have just been a really skilled player. I'm not going to release the name that he usually goes by because I don't want him to get message spammed, but you know who you are, and I would suggest that you record your gameplay and perhaps upload it to YouTube because if no fishy business was going on, you're absolutely nuts. And when we raided Ronnie's group the second time when they were rebuilding in the desert, Wigdy had told us he found that base because he was killed by one of their members outside of it. But when editing, I asked him exactly how he found the base for better context in the video and he said that he found it by stream sniping Ronnie, different from what he told us in the first place. It's pretty disappointing and leaves me feeling uneasy. Had I known beforehand and I probably wouldn't have raided them or I would have warned them first. And lastly, we really don't know who raided us the final night. When I asked Ronnie the next morning, he said it wasn't his group, but they definitely had the people and probably the farm to do so. But regardless, the story of a rivalry had started two wipes ago and now it was finished with us on top. The previous two wipes had ended with us being raided but this time all our loot was still there we had outplayed ronnie and his group at every turn so i hope you guys enjoyed the story i'll see you all in the next video